This example shows how C++20 ranges make data processing composable, readable, and lazy. We start with a standard vector int from 1 to 10. Then define two tiny functions, isEven, which checks if a number is even, and square, which returns the square of the element. The magic happens with the pipelines, which is the vertical bar. Uh, we, we take numbers and pipe it into standard views filter with the isEven function. Then we pipe that into standard views transform with the square uh, call, right? Each pipe creates a view, a lightweight, non-owning, lazily evaluated adapter, so no intermediate containers are allocated. Nothing runs yet. The work happens only when we iterate. In the for loop, the range evaluates on the fly. It takes an element, filters it, transforms it, prints it, and moves on. This style replaces nested algorithms and temporary vectors with a clear left to right flow. Because the views are lazy and non-owning, they're cheap to chain and great for performance. But you must ensure that the underlying data, which is numbers, stays alive while you iterate. If you need a real container, you can materialize the result. In C++23, you can use SCD ranges too, or by constructing a standard vector from the views beginning and end. Overall, ranges help you express intent directly. What to do, not how yielding cleaner, safer, and often faster code.